How we doing guys, my soul Chris Petty, OBE, hitting you with a quick one. Real talk, true season. Take a look at this one now. Six or seven year old boy starts running up his mouth on the bus, calling people pussies and telling them to shut up. Take a look at this. Take a look at this. Shut the fuck up, bitch! Stop swearing! Shut up, you mouth, fucking pussy! You know what, you fucking pussy! Who are you talking to? Who are you talking to at the age of six, seven years age? And that's the way you're talking, but that's what's going on behind closed doors. Let's not get it twisted. Let's break it down on reasons why he is talking like that. How can he be talking like that? From his brothers, sisters, someone in the household is using language like that, music, Video games, movies, there's so much stuff that this kid's seeing that he shouldn't be seeing at the age that he's seeing. What, you're now enough the same age as my daughter and you're talking like that? I will clap it down. Who are you talking to? And you've got people on the bus trying to stop. you got a, a, a lovely black woman saying, listen, you don't talk like that. But whoever he was with, they were laughing, filming him. <laughs> they think it's funny, but it's not funny. Because when he gets to 15, 16, 17, 18, and he turns around and looks at his mum and tells his mum, shut up. What, you dickhead? What are you going to do? What now all of a sudden you want to talk about, I need help, I need support, somebody help me. No, we are raising killers, we are raising thugs, we are raising kids that's going to be going out there one day committing crime. Let's keep it real. I know I shouldn't stereotype a child right now, but look at this child and look at the road that he's going down. Making him feel like he's acceptable to be out there talking like that. How dare you? How do you even know to talk like that? You should be learning your A's and B's, rude boy, yeah? Should be learning your alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. You better be talking um, that baby shark. Do, 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 baby. You better be baby sharking around here about you telling people pussies and shut up and putting up your middle finger. Where did you learn that? So we need to understand what's going on within our own community. What's going on behind closed doors in our own household. It's very easy people sitting there talking about, not my child, not my child, you're the worstest one. Because you parents ain't giving that child no values, ain't giving that child no morals. That child don't understand about respect. How dare you, a little six, seven year old talking like that. Nah, it's coming down on you parents now. Coming down on you parents now. So I don't care whether you've taught your child that, but you're going around talking like that around your children is disgusting. It's disgraceful. And whoever parents this is, you should be ashamed of yourself. A six-year-old, a five-year-old, a seven-year-old talking like that, you should be ashamed of yourself. You should be really looking deep inside your heart and saying, rah, like, what am I doing? I need to pattern up. I need to make sure that I'm disciplining my child and letting my child know that you can't talk like that. I'm not saying that kids don't slip up. I'm not saying that kids don't say, oh, F you and fuck off and whatever. And, and they're looking at you like, bro, I didn't even mean to say it. But this kid seems like he says it all the time. This kid seems like he says it like he says juice. Pussy, juice. Shut up, juice. Like he's saying it like he's saying normal stuff like Chris. But this is a China child that will go into a supermarket, tell you that he wants Chris. You tell him no, and mum will call you a pussy. Yo pussy, shut up, dickhead, I want it, I want it, I want it. Are you all right? Lick it down. Lick it down. You don't like to put too much time out and go and sit on the naughty step and I'm not going to give you no treats. Treats what? Clap it down. Take away something that was important to them and let them go and sit down and read a book. Yeah, that's what my mum used to do. My mum used to ground me. She used to lick me and take something away from me and tell me to go and sit down. Yeah, go and sit down and read a book. The amount of times I've walked up that stairs, I hate you, but that's set discipline. Guess what? I've never done it again because I didn't want to get grounded, didn't want to get licks, and I didn't want to get something taken away from me that was important to me, whether it's computer, whether it's the TV, whatever. Lock it down, man. Shut down that internet. What You ain't got data. Turn off that internet. Take it out of the socket. One time. Bow. No more internet for everybody. No more TV for everybody. I've got my data, so I'm nice. You parents need to start putting things in place. You kids, you making it seem like, oh, the kids are in control of you. You're in control. Don't make your child be in control of you, telling you when they're going to bed. I don't want to go to bed. Okay, 10 more minutes, five more minutes, 20 more minutes. Shut up, are you all right? Go to your bed now. Don't play with me. And these are the kind of reasons why I feel like I'm getting upset because I'm like, raw, this could be my child. I'm not having it. I'm sticking it on my child fish and chips every single day if that makes me make sure that she's got discipline. She's got understanding. Every time anyone meets my child, oh, she's so polite. Oh, she's so lovely. Oh, she's so... Yeah, that's right. Don't be coming with no more other talk rude boy about rude, rude. My child, rude. This is not even rude. This is disgusting, guys. So I just want to ask you guys, as a parent, what would you do in this situation?